What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. Today, we're here to do something a little bit different. We're here to talk about this beast right here. This uh, RC rear-wheel drive drift car that I have. I've been, you know, poking hints at it on a couple videos prior, as well as I've been poking at it on Instagram and Twitter. So here today, we're going to do a full build breakdown on my one of my rear-wheel drive chassis, which is uh, this one right here, my uh, Matt Teal uh, Toyota 86. First and foremost, it is a Yokomo uh, Toyota 86 body. Uh, it has been painted multiple times, multiple different colors. It's been through a lot. It's been through a couple competitions, as well as uh, a bunch of modifications in the back. It's had wings. It's had things cut out and stuff like that. But it uh, has done me very well and done very good for me. It's been reinforced on the inside, so it uh, it's uh, been wall tapped a few times. It's been b bashed in a few times. It's uh, it's done its fair share of uh, competitions and runs. So we're going to get into the full build breakdown of this chassis because I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it. And uh, I do do a lot of rear-wheel drive RC drifting. So is my fiance. She's starting to get into it. So we're going to get into it, show you guys my one chassis. We're going to take this body off first and uh, give a little bit of a, a look at that first. I do run pins just so that if uh, I bash into somebody, the body doesn't fly off. So we'll slide the chassis away for a moment. So it has been reinforced on the inside with plenty of shoe goo and light buckets and stuff like that to keep it nice and rigid and keep it from breaking. Of course, new additives, the usual suspects on the side. So it's just a standard 86 body, kind of a beater body, but we're going to toss that aside and get down to the nitty gritty that is my Eagle Racing R31 custom built chassis. I say custom built because um, this is not exactly how it sits. So we are rocking some 3D printed 1552 wheels. Um, these were printed by a buddy of mine. We're just trying them out to see how they uh, see how they do in uh, and hold up for drifting. Some really good uh, bokeh bearings in the front. So. The carbon deck, it is all carbon fiber and aluminum. This is, an Eagle, like I said, Eagle Racing R31. But I have changed it around and modified it a little bit because originally the Eagle Racing R31, the motor sits up front. So I have completely switched it. With the help of my brother, we came away to make this happen. They do sell a kit for it, but this is kind of our own custom little look. We have moved the motor to the back of the car. As you can see, the motor is completely in the rear. We have a belt drive system with a tensioner and everything that we have set up in the rear of the car. We are running a Hobby Wings 8.5 turn uh, motor, but we do have a uh, Speed Passion 13.5, which I will probably be switching to this car because uh, it was a little bit too quick for what I wanted it to do. Hobby Wings ESC. And uh, we're running a massive amount of steering angle. As you can see, this thing will just go pretty much 90 degrees lock. And... Uh, it's just an insane car to drive. So it is set very soft in the front, which is another big modification. If you haven't noticed, this whole front end was designed and uh, kind of changed by my brother and I. This is not how it's supposed to be with all the, uh, the way the shocks are mounted and the plates in the front and stuff like that. We did change that all around to kind of uh, make it my own chassis in a sense. With the motor in the back, there was no real way to make with what I had to build it, so that's why we built it this way. Um, it is set pretty soft in the front. Very spongy setup for drifting, which is definitely helps in the front. There's a lot of weight in the rear, so it's kind of stiff. I do need to change that up a little bit, but this is just one of the chassis I run. I have a couple more chassis that I run. Just want to give you a little build breakdown on this one. This is, like I said, all these parts are Eagle Racing R31. Uh, there's blue and gold, obviously, on it, because I had you know, mixed match parts from other other uh other cars so but they are all from the eagle racing it was a gold one and a uh blue one so we are running tamiya belts with our own uh tensioner setup in the back if you can't really see it back here our own tensioner setup right here so that i can use different kinds of belts just by sliding the tensioners around so i have some clips from uh drifting and stuff like that that i want to bring to the channel i want to show you guys a little bit of the chassis that I run because I know a lot of people have been asking. So this is my rear wheel drive R31, uh, rear, -wheel, rear engine converted, um, fully custom front shock towers and everything on those lines. Um, 
very good chassis for me. I've used it a lot in Florida when we were in there, making it, you know, one of my favorite chassis that I've had. I did get it off a of buddy and we did modify it. It was originally an all-wheel drive chassis. So this is what we're at on this one. So I do have another chassis that I wanna show you guys. It's actually my fiance's chassis. So I'm gonna show you guys that real quick to give you the breakdown of that chassis as well. So this chassis is a little bit different. Um, as you can see, it is a beater body basher RX-7, um, but it is because she's still learning how to drive. So this is the other chassis that we run and uh, it doesn't have wheels on this side because I just pulled it out of the case. So we're gonna pull this body off. So this is a pretty much out of the box FXX MST rear wheel drive with a linear front motor setup. As you can see, with the sideways motor in the front, unlike the traditional FXX, which had the lateral motor um, in there, this is a basically a simple gear driven FXX, drive shaft to rear wheel drive, running a full speed passion um, Revington R with a 13 and a half uh, speed passion competition front motor and a simple servo, nothing major. This car does not get as much lock as my Eagle Racing does, but it gets enough lock to get the job done. Um, I had a lot of fun driving this car the other day um, because mine was uh, acting up a little bit. So I spent a little time driving this car, getting it dialed in, and uh, had a little fun with this one. Definitely got to do some suspension work on it, make it a little bit softer because it's a pretty stiff setup right now. But so I just want to give you guys a little look at my uh, RC chassis here. And uh, if you guys want to keep seeing RC on the channel, let me know down in the comment section down below. I did go the other the other day to a uh, friend's basement where he has a track set up so we will be running more so I will have some uh, content to bring you guys to the channel so like if you guys want to keep seeing RC stuff let me know down in the comment section down below I did want to show you guys a little look into my chassis and stuff like that these are the ones that I run as I bash my camera all of them are rear wheel drive all of them are uh, gyro built in um, that one's the uh, FXX is running a basically a cheapy little uh, gyro from RC Mart, whereas this one is running the gyro through the receiver, or I run a Futaba helicopter gyro to keep this car from uh, snapping back and forth. And a lot of RC cars, well, obviously all rear wheel drive cars run gyros, depends on what the settings are. Some of them, some people are running without a gyro, those guys are definitely uh, high par with the rear wheel drive cars for sure. So just a little glimpse at my chassis here today for you guys. A little something different on the channel. Let me know if you guys like it. If you guys want to keep seeing RC stuff on the channel. Definitely would like to do some builds on some new bodies that I got lying around. As well as modifying these cars. And uh, well, of course, videos of them shredding. And grabbing doors and tandeming with some of my friends. So as always, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm going to leave you guys with a few clips from the other day. I did mount a camera on top of my FXX chassis and uh, ripped it around a little bit in the basement. So, as always, I will see you. Yeah.